In this video, we'll show you how you can use the track back from a previous activity to do some navigation. So let's say you're doing a multi-day uh, backcountry trip and it's time to leave camp and get back to the car and you want to do the same route that you did to get in. So you can do, choose any activity to, in order to do the track back. So let's press up and get to our uh, navigation. So we'll scroll down the list, get to navigation, and we'll select activities. And we can scroll through our previous activities and choose track back. But let's say this is the one we want to choose today. And we can scroll down, view the details, view the map, for example, and say, yeah, simply, yeah, that's the route we need to get back to our car. Well, we can simply choose track back, hit the start button. There's going to be a little bit of a delay. Choose the activity profile, and we'll wait for the GPS fix to occur. And then you can either start an activity to get back, and you can scroll through the different track back data screens. So it'll give you the distance remaining, give you the time remaining. You can have also your navigation glyph right here help you with your navigation. So once you're ready to go, leave camp, hit start, start your hi hiking activity back to the car. And once you're stopped or you're done, hit stop, hit back, and you can save the track or discard. And that is how you can use a previous activity to track back.